Welcome back to the Kill Cam. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unlock the Cup Bear, find all his fancy herbs, and explain what the hell these potions even do. First things first, the Cup Bear is located on Forgotten Viaduct. Once you spawn in, look for his icon on your HUD and track him down. When you speak to him, he's going to ask you to find his cup. Once you complete his dialogue, the icon on your HUD will change to the cup he's looking for, track it down, pick it up, and return to the cup bear. This will complete the task. Now, whenever you die or survive, he will now show up at the starting camp. Once you talk to him back at the camp, he will explain that he can make additional potions, but he requires certain herbs to make the potions. He will also give you a medallion to help you track down those herbs. If you want to find the herbs easy, go over to your stash, equip it, and run it in the next raid. The way the medallion works is in the top left corner of your screen, you see two open hands. Surrounding the hands, there are green arrows. The arrows work like a compass and point to the location of the herb. The closer you get, the brighter the arrows will get. Once you pick it up, there will be a mob that spawns. They look all green. A little extra XP don't hurt. Take them down and survive or die in the raid. It doesn't really matter. You'll get the herb pickup. There are three herbs located on haunted caverns, four herbs located on ember grounds, and two herbs located on forgotten viaduct. There are four potion types in total. The first is strong wine, which will allow you to re-roll skill choices when you level up. The second being potion of memories. This potion allows you to memorize a trait, which means if you don't want to choose the trait on this current level, you can use the potion on that skill and it will remain in the selection choice until you choose it. So if there's damage and attack speed and you want both, well, I'll put the potion on attack speed, get damage this time. The next time I level up, I can choose attack speed. The third potion is Potion of Oblivion. This allows you to banish a trait. Let's say I want to get rid of movement speed. I'm going to drink this potion, choose movement speed, but I will never see movement speed again. So fire beware. The fourth and final potion is Reverberant Tincture. This allows you to double the effects of a trait on a single level up. So let's say you get damage plus 10%. You drink this potion, choose damage. It'll now be damage plus 20%. These potions reset on each raid, so you can use as many as you'd like in an individual raid. To get more charges, you're going to need to find the bottles dropped on bosses in white crates. You need to bring these bottles to the well. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please hit that like and subscribe button. Feel free to catch me on Twitch. The link is down in the description. I hope to catch you live sometime back at the Kill Cam. Have a good one. That's bitch ass.